In this video, we're going to cover how to create a JV contract within the JVZoo system. Now, first of all, you need to understand what a JV contract is. This is something very different than your relationship with an affiliate. The JV contract is, for example, suppose you and another marketer are partnering up on a product that you're going to launch, and each of you gets a 50-50 share of the profits. The way you can set this up automatically is with a JV contract. Otherwise, you would have to have one of you as the product vendor, and then once all the sales are in, you'd have to send half of the profits over to the other guy, and then if there are refunds, then that half of that refund would have to come back. It's just a mess. But with PayPal Adaptive Payments, JVZoo can set up an additional split to where 50% of the gross, or any percent really, of the gross or the profit can be split off to your partner. And then when there's a refund, it can be brought back from your partner's PayPal, etc. So this is how we set it up. It's on the seller's menu under JVs. So we click that, and we're on the JV contract page. Now, there are going to be a lot of things blocked out on this page because I have a number of JV contracts because of the launch management I do, and also because of products that I've launched myself. But what I'm going to show you is the two types of JV contracts shown on this page. There are two lists as you scroll down. This list at the top are JV contracts that are paid out to other people. And what you'll have under the, the name column is the partners, or the, actually the title that you give the JV contract when you set it up. This is an edit button. This is a report button where you can see a detailed sales amount of that uh, JV contract, how much was split. And this is the button you would click to hide this JV contract if it's old and out of date. Then under the product column, of course, we have the product that that is associated with. And under JV, the other person that you're paying, the person that's getting a split off of um, your own product. Now, when we scroll down, we have the JV payments that you are receiving from other vendors. So under here, you will have the product, which is the name of the JV uh, partner contract and the vendor who's paying you the percentage. We have three buttons here. You click the magnify glass to view the contract, get the details showing how much you're being paid. This button, as before, is a view detailed sales button. And this is an archive button to get rid of this off of your list. So let's go back up to the top of the page and let's create a JV agreement. Now this is an agreement with someone else for a product that is on your JVZoo account. You click the yellow add a JV agreement button and we get this very simple form. It's very short. What you want to put here is the name of the JV agreement. This is something that you will only see internally. So let's call this test JV agreement. From this drop down, I'm not going to pull it down because of the number of products in my account, but you will see a list of the products that are on your JVZoo account. Pick the product that is the main one in your funnel. There are two ways that this will go. You can either have a payment just on sales of the single product or on sales of the entire funnel. So you select one product here and then you can also select the funnel. And as this note says, if you set the following value, you do not need to create additional JV agreements for this user for the products in the funnel. What that means is suppose you have a complete upsell funnel like we set up earlier in the funnel tutorial video you can select the entire funnel right here. If there are seven products, your partner that you select will be paid on each of those seven products when a sale is made. If you only want specific items to be paid out, you need to set up a specific JV agreement with each product for the number that are being paid out. If there are only two products in that seven product funnel that you're paying, to, paying that person to, you need to set up a JV agreement for each individual product and not the entire funnel. Now from this drop down, we can see the different ways that your JV partner can be paid, either a percent of profits or a percent of the price. Now keep in mind, this is the net profit after affiliates are paid, after 
JVZoo's percentage is taken out after PayPal's percentage is taken out. So that's a profit share. The price share is of the selling price. So that's before anything else. Affiliates all, always get their, suppose it's a 50% commission on a $10 product, they will get $5. If you're paying the person a 10% price share, then they will get a dollar. And then everything else is subtracted out of your portion. Flat fee per sale, this pays a certain dollar amount per sale, no matter what the product sells for. A percent affiliate consultant is someone that you're giving a second tier, is what it's called, percentage to. Now what this is, is suppose someone like me, a launch manager, wants to help someone get affiliates. I can take a percent affiliate consultant JV. So I could tell the vendor, I could tell you that I will help you get affiliates, but I want to get 5% of their sales. This is what you would set up for me is a percent affiliate consultant. Or I could say, I want $3 per sale. You would set me up as a flat fee affiliate consultant. Then that would get paid directly into my PayPal as sales from my referred affiliates happen. So this is a great way to get affiliates on board is with second tier affiliate consultants. But what you have to have in order to set this up is your JV Partners affiliate ID. As we showed earlier, that is found under My Account in your JV Partners JVZoo account. So you need to get that number from them and put their affiliate ID in here. If you're doing a percentage partnership share, whether it's profit or price share or affiliate consultant, you'll put your percentage in here that you're paying. If you give them a flat fee, this changes to a dollar amount. Now there are a couple of optional settings here. There's a date range. You can put when this starts and stops if they're only being paid, for example, during your launch, and then after the launch they're not being paid. That's where you would set that up and it will automatically start and stop the payments to them. Maximum earnings is where you can put the maximum amount that they are paid. So if you agree that they will make 10% um, of, the, of the sales up to the first thousand dollars of sales, then you can put $100 here. That's their max earnings or max number of sales. When you click Save JV Agreement, then it will show up on the JV Contracts page. And they will automatically get an email, a message, saying that they have been added into a JV contract, and the JV contract will show up on their JVZoo JV Contract page.